Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the jQuery scroll event handler. We're going to be creating a text area with some text in, and when the user scrolls, we're first of all going to be feeding back when they have actually scrolled, then we're going to be feeding back some more dynamic information like the position that they're currently at in the scroll area. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create this text area. We're going to outline the uh, text area tags and we're going to, going to give this an ID of some underscore text and this is how we're going to reference it once we use uh, jQuery to check this. I'm going to give it uh, rows of 7 and columns of 25. I'm going to paste some long uh, text in, this is just some Latin text in here and we can go ahead to our browser and preview this. So inside of our browser we now have this, we can scroll down, that's important so we can actually test the event handler correctly. We now want to create a file which we're going to include in our page down here um, with the scroll functionality and the event handler in there. So let's go ahead and create a new text file and I'm going to save this as scroll.js inside my JS folder. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to include that in our page. So let's go ahead and type script type is equal to text forward slash JavaScript. The source is going to be JS forward slash scroll dot JS and we end the script there. So now that we've included scroll.js, we can begin to actually check when the uh, event handler, well, create the event handler when the user scrolls. The first thing we're going to do though is create a div which is going to relay some information back to us. So this is going to be a uh, div ID of let's just say some feedback. Now let's go over to scroll.js and start to create the event handler. So we're going to reference the some text text uh, area and the event handler is scroll. Now inside of the parentheses we're going to create a function which is going to be executed when we actually start to scroll. So function and we create the block so we create a function as normal with a parentheses and a block here. We bring this down so we can start writing the code inside of the block. So our div is called sum underscore feedback so what we can simply do is say sum underscore feedback dot html and inside of here we can say something like you have scrolled so now what's going to happen is when we return to our browser and we start to scroll we're going to have the div display that text that we've just typed in let's go ahead and start scrolling okay so you can see that the text has now appeared just here and we have fed back to the user when they've started to scroll now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, something slightly different to feed back some more dynamic information. I'm going to create a variable called scroll pause, and that's going to be equal to, again, the reference of some text, but this time it's going to be dot scroll top. Now this scroll top function in jQuery returns the current position the user is at inside of the text area as they are scrolling. So now what we can do, we can just change this to you have scrolled and are at position and then we can append on the scroll position. So it's now going to say you have scrolled and are at position and it's going to give us the current position that we're at. So let's refresh and test this. I'm going to start to scroll and you can see that the numbers are dynamically changing as I scroll all the way to the bottom of the text area. Okay, so why might this uh, scroll be useful? In some websites you see that they have a list of terms and conditions inside a text area in which you're meant to scroll down and read. If you were to use this you could match the uh, position you're scrolling at to the uh, height of this box. Now when the user has reached the end you could then display something like I agree I have read the terms and conditions. 
So apart from demonstrating this uh, event handler, it's also useful to note where it might be used. So that's essentially the scroll event handler in jQuery and a bit about where it might be used.